what's up you guys after your reacts here and today I'm going to be reacting to some more Stargate SG-1 this is season 10 episode 10 let's get into the episode these are locations of the planets that Arthur and his knights set off to in their quest for the Sangral, Castiana, Sahal, and Vagan Bray. And we searched all three and came up empty, so I thought it was a dead end, until I noticed this. Their coordinates form an equilateral triangle. Now, add their departure point, the Camelot planet, and you get... a tetrahedron, a perfect pyramid. Oh, that's a hell of a coincidence. Exactly, and it means something. I'm just not sure what. I have the answer. I figured it out. Whew. Those three planets are part of a puzzle. The pyramid is a visual representation of three into one, three addresses into one. That's what Morgan was trying to tell you, that the Sangral is located on a planet, the address of which is made up of symbols from each of those three worlds, Castiana, Sahal, Fagan, Bray. It just came to me in a dream. Okay, this program will cross-reference the addresses in the database with those of Castiano, Sahal, and Vagan Bray, searching out planetary designations made up of symbols from all three addresses. Given the number of symbols and the amount of addresses in the database, we could be looking at dozens, maybe hundreds of permutations. Mm. Oh. Or maybe just the one. We've come in search of the Sangral. We know what the Sangral looks like. It's been many generations since anyone has come in search of it. And now you're the second group of adventurers in less than a week to take up the quest. The second group. A number of Jaffa passed through here three days ago. Were they accompanied by anyone? What? Yes. Jaffa? They were led by a man who clearly commanded their fear and respect. Who oh, has been here? And he's got a three-day head start on us. As if. You seek the Sangral. You must consult with the Parchment of Virtues in the village library. But I should warn you, no one has ever returned from the quest alive. If you value your lives, you would do well to reconsider. We appreciate that, but that is quitter talk. Hi. We're looking for something called the Parchment of Virtues. Another band of stalwart heroes come to tempt fate in the hopes of claiming the legendary prize. <laughs> what do you know of the Sangral? Only what I've heard from legend, that it is located in a cave beyond the outlying forest. But that the journey there is fraught with peril. <laughs> Ages ago, Morgan Le Fay enchanted the area with a terrible curse. Since then, it has claimed countless lives. Well, we don't put much stock in curses. Well, neither did Phaedra, the goblin's wife, but weeks ago, set off in search of her son who had strayed too far from the village. Neither have been seen or heard from since. This parchment was purportedly left behind by Morgan herself as a guide for knights of noble spirit, since it is said that only the most virtuous will succeed in claiming the Sangral. Only those of virtue true may win the prize concealed beyond the reach of the flawed and taint. The Sangral shall instead belong to he who speaks the guardian's name. They say that the Sangral is protected by the most powerful of magical beasts, a dragon. Dragon. You doubt the legend? I'm, I'm sure the Sangral is protected by something very powerful, but I, I don't think it's an actual dragon. <laughs> Believe what you will. With luck, you may have the opportunity to prove the truth for yourselves. Prudence, wisdom, charity, kindness, and faith. Let these be your guide on this perilous quest. Well, I'm sorry, but I think we're going to need a little bit more than that to go on. Now, all Morgan left behind was this and uh, the map. May we see it? <laughs> No, it's not for public view. Hey, we wouldn't dream of trying to steal it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have to steal it. We are not stealing the map. Nightfall, sneak in under cover of darkness. We're gonna just talk to Osric and convince him that our cause is virtue. Oh, that's brilliant. And while you're distracting him, the rest of us can steal it. For the last time, we are not stealing. Are you certain I cannot tempt you with a final meal? What is it with this town and the no-can-do attitude? Every time we turn around, someone's trying to write us off or scare us away. I apologize. I should have said a final meal before you set off on your journey. <laughs> We are soldiers of the Ori, and we have taken this village as part of their holy crusade to rid this galaxy of evil. Cooperate, and you won't be harmed. You don't look like Gore. Go through the buildings, bring everyone out. 
Who are these men? Well, that is a long story. Look, I know you have no reason to trust us any more than you do those guys. I have not seen you shoot anyone. That's an excellent point. We're gonna need your help. You have encountered them before? Many times, in all many different worlds. And how did the inhabitants of those other worlds resist them? They didn't. They either surrendered or they were slaughtered. What are you saying? There's nothing we can do? We are doomed? No, no, not necessarily. We, we believe they can be defeated. That's why we're here. We think that's why they're here as well, to destroy the one thing capable of stopping them. The Sangro. Please, I know they're here. Please. I must speak with you. The soldiers are looking for me. Why? Because they believe I can lead them to the Sangro. Can you? Of course. What? You saved the map. No, they unwittingly burned it with the rest of the village archives. But a copy still exists. Where? Here. I will lead you to Merlin's treasure. This way. What the hell? We're doing the mannequin challenge. What's the matter with them? No, I'm picking up varying anomalous readings. Weaker here, and then rising again. They're temporal fluctuations. Meaning? Meaning these people are trapped in a time distortion field. Are you sure? If it's a time distortion field, why are the leaves moving in the trees? It could be an illusion designed to reproduce the standing weather pattern. These readings indicate the time within the field is extremely decelerated. I mean, these people may look like they're standing perfectly still, but in fact, they're moving. Are they aware of what is happening to them? Doubtful. Several years may pass on our side of the field in the one or two seconds it takes them to take even one step. Right, why don't we just go around it? Well, the outer edge of the field extends as far as I can tell in either direction. And it has a slight curve to it. I mean, for all I know, it could form a complete circle. We could walk for miles and never find a way through. Sam, if you've got another idea, I'd love to hear it. There's a circuitous path of real time winding through the temporal field. It's a maze. These readings are unmistakable. I can use them to guide us through. Follow my lead. If you stray off the path, you could wind up trapped in the distortion field. Uh-oh. What do you mean, uh-oh? Uh-oh, you left your stove on, right? Temporal distortions are affecting these readings. We're blind. Oh, well, shit. OK, here's a stupid question. You did check the batteries in that thing before you left Stargate Command, right? It's not the batteries. We could just retrace our steps and try our luck with the Ori soldiers. Do you know the way back? that way we have to be exact any deviation from the path of real time and we could wind up frozen like the rest of these people if morgan le fay left clues as to the whereabouts of the saint Graal, then it is safe to assume that she believed that you guys probably should have left uh, like a line like draw a line then again you might be leading people to you so i don't know to weed out those she deemed unworthy there is a way out we just have to be resourceful and carefully think it through. Arthur and his knights wouldn't have had access to this advanced technology to guide them through, so presumably the answer could be deceptively simple. Maybe if you look up, there might be... I don't know. Follow me. It's a good thing that it's just like a long strip. All right, we're through. We better pick up the pace if we want to cut into Ball's lead. I guess we're just to assume that he's gotten past that somehow. Like abilities, and yet they are not gods. No, they're very powerful beings who would have their followers believe as much because faith is the source of their power. Faith is something that cannot be won through intimidation and fear. If their followers have faith, then they must truly believe. No, they only believe because they've been misled. To many less developed civilizations, certain advanced technologies would strike them as supernatural in nature. Merlin wasn't a wizard, and Morgan Le Fay was not a sorceress. <laughs> Ridiculous. They simply use their advanced abilities to fashion seemingly magical creations, like the Sangral or that time dilation field we encountered. You would have me believe that you are possessed of a complete understanding of these amazing feats? No, but just because I don't know how the trick is done doesn't make it magic. And I would argue that your inability to comprehend such feats does in fact prove their supernatural nature. Their army just ran roughshod over your village, forced you into hiding. Now you're defending them. Hardly. I condemn the actions of their soldiers, but I'm in no position to judge the Ori or their message not yet truth is elusive to those who refuse to see with both eyes what they abandoned me 
They're gonna pay. All of them. Wait! Make yourselves comfortable. We're gonna be here a while. <coughs> Won't do you any good. Believe me, I've tried. It's a one-way door. How long have you been trapped in here? Three agonizingly tedious days. Which reminds me, I don't suppose you have any food. What's that? That's bait. When I approached to investigate, I unwittingly triggered the trap. You've had the ancient database for months. Why did it take you so long to get here? I can't think clearly on an empty stomach. I only possessed two of the three addresses needed to complete the puzzle. As a result, I had significantly more possibilities to investigate. By a process of elimination, I was left with one prospect, and when I went in search of the planet, it wasn't there. What do you mean it wasn't there? It wasn't where it was supposed to be. I calculated its position, I sent my ships to its approximate location, but they couldn't find it. In the end, my only recourse was to access it via the Stargate and secure the device with a handful of my Jaffa. And when I became trapped in here, they set off in search of a means of freeing me. They have yet to return. Something must have come up. Well, obviously, Morgan must have rendered this planet inaccessible to the ships. I'm sure that enemies such as the Ori could not destroy the Song Graal from orbit. You're wasting your time. I've had three days to search for a way out of here. There's nothing inside. Well, that's the point, isn't it? The Parchment of Virtues told us that We'd have to rely on five things in order to reach the Sun Graal. Prudence, wisdom, charity, kindness, and faith. You're saying the parchment was intended to be interpreted literally. Why not? We were able to make our way through the time dilation field by patiently and carefully negotiating the maze. In other words, we demonstrated prudence as opposed to recklessness, which would have stranded us. So ask yourselves, what does this trap exploit? Curiosity. Greed. Person approaches a chest expecting to find treasure inside, but instead finds nothing and gets trapped for his trouble. So in order to reverse the trap, you have to reverse the impetus. Right. The opposite of greed is charity, one of the virtues mentioned in the parchment. Give it something. Something, something must be sacrificed. <laughs> well, that was an interesting theory. Well, we're all trapped, so we all have to contribute something. Yeah, I was just about to say, maybe Daniel's allowed to leave. Why? Why do you have a hair dryer? <clears throat> I have nothing to donate. Kind of defeats the purpose here, don't you think? That particular item holds great sentimental value. Well done. Another day in there, I would have gone mad. Guess that makes it time to say goodbye. It would be foolish of you to kill me. How so? Amongst the information I obtained regarding the Sun Graal is the name of the Protector. Protector? The Dragon. You see, I told you there was a dragon. I'm sure there's something guarding the device. Maybe it's a hologram. Holograms can be dangerous, you know. It'd be a ship. Flies, okay. breathes fire, has armored skin. It's a mistake a medieval storyteller could easily make. Then if it's based on technology, the name is no doubt a password or a command code. Either way, if you want it, you'll have to take me with you. You know, I hate to say this, but he could prove useful. Could also be lying. The Sangral is located within. It's too bad you won't be coming with us. I thought I made it clear. You need me. I wasn't talking to you. Ah, oh, well, uh, allow me to get out of your line of fire. <laughs> you lost your senses? Truth eludes he who does not seek it with both eyes wide. It's a quote from the Book of Origin. You paraphrased it earlier today. Now, I might not have noticed, but I spent the past year studying the good book, so... Surely you're not basing your suspicions on this mere coincidence? And when it came time to give up a possession to free ourselves from the force field trap, I noticed the designs on your ring, not Celtic, as one might expect given the cultural background of this planet, but distinctly Ori. The ring was a gift from the traveling merchant. You're making a mistake. You're the one who screwed up. Now drop the act. It would have been so much easier if you had remained oblivious. But now things will be much more difficult. Especially for you.
learned something new with your eyes. So, the troops in the village was all a setup. More than you know. I grew impatient waiting for you to discover the location of the weapon. So I gave you a little help. The dream I had, three into one, that was you. Yes. So you planted the solution in Valid, knowing it would lead us right to you. Apparently, Morgan put safeguards in place to ensure the weapon could only be secured by... What was the term again? Those possessing truth of spirit. I can't think of anyone more appropriate than a former Ascendant. With your help, I'll secure the device. Hate to disappoint. You've seen a demonstration of my powers. You know what I'm capable of. So I'm offering you a choice. Either we work together to reach the device, or I'll start killing off members of your team. Starting with Harley. All right. We'll work together, for now. Choose the way that is just and true. Oh, it's a riddle. I'm good at these. Um, the way that is just and true. Just and true. It's telling us to go that way. The way that is just and true. That is. The right way. The right way. Yeah. The writing's an ancient. So? So in ancient, the word meaning just and true is very different from the word meaning right, as in opposite of left. Did you hear that? Sounds like a child. It's obviously a trap. Or quite possibly a test. A test of what? Our stupidity. Huh. Hang on, kid. We'll get you out of there. He's tiny. Let him squeeze through the bars. Assist us or I will squeeze you through these bars. <laughs> Want to use your powers to lift it? We're wasting our time. Let's go back. Well, how's about that? We did pick the right way. That was the dead end. We have to go back. No, it doesn't make any sense that we would have progressed this far only to come up empty. It's another riddle. Oh, good day. I'm struck and cut, shaped and cooled, then bound by rings to release what's stored. Might want to pick things up a little bit here. Bound by ring? Key! The answer's key. Uh, Clavia! I shake the earth with booming thunder, fell forest whole and homes complete. I influence ships, topple kings, sweep down swift, yet remain unseen. Oh, wait, I've got this. Uh, suggesting a strong yet invisible force. Wind. Battle scarred in times of strife, resistant to... Resistant to... To what? I, I don't know, I, I can't translate this section of the text. Contagia! Looks like that's done it. You know, come to think of it, riddles never really were my strong point. <laughs> Visual puzzles, like which of these symbols does not belong with the others, or reconfigure the tiles to make the hidden picture. Is it just me, or is it getting hot in here? It is a tad toasty. Why don't you do something? You're the Orosai. You're supposedly possessed of significant powers. So snuff out the flame and get us on our way. My abilities don't work that way. <laughs> of course. Uh, how does the saying go? All flesh, no photo? Actually, it's all flesh, no substance. I prefer my version. Would you care for a demonstration? Taking your life would be a waste of my time. Which I suppose would be put to better use complaining. Oh, jeez, why don't you two just get a room? It's the only one left. The parchment told us that five virtues would guide us in our quest for the Sangral. Prudence, kindness, charity, wisdom, and faith. Walk through. Prudence in finding a way out of the temporal maze. Charity in escaping the force field trap. Kindness by helping the child in finding the hidden passageway. And wisdom in solving the riddles. The only virtue left is faith. Well, after you, Moses. I feel like the fire shouldn't have disappeared. <laughs> I feel like they should have all walked through. There it is. I'll go. We'll both go. I think I'll stay here and support you from a distance. We should all go. No, only Daniel and I will go. The rest of you will stay. That's all right. Take it. After you. I told you, Morgan put safeguards in place to ensure that someone such as myself couldn't claim the device. 
Is that why you didn't just use your powers from back there? What are you talking about? Well, you have telekinetic abilities. I've seen you use them. You should have just snatched the Sangral off the dais without taking a step, but you didn't. Probably for the same reason you didn't use your powers to lift the portcullis or kill Baal the second he stepped out of line. You can't. Of course I can. No, my guess is Morgan did put safeguards in place and that those safeguards are neutralizing your Ori given powers. You saw me withstand the bullets fired against me. Yeah, thanks to your personal shield. The only powers you can manifest originate from that pendant and they're purely defensive in nature. Do you really want to test me? Yeah. You know what? I changed my mind about helping you. Knock yourself out. What's the hold up? Thought so. Well, I guess I'm not as true of spirit as you thought I was. What the hell is that? We agreed there's no such thing as a dragon, right? Yeah. <laughs> That looks pretty real to me. Huh. Hey, what's up you guys? Quick interruption here. Um, as you are no doubt aware, these past few years have been tough on all of us. Um, and there are some things that none of us can hide from. Um, the cost of living, for instance, Food and things like electricity, gas and water have all gone up and they continue to go up. Um, now, I don't really like to advertise this, but in order to afford keeping the lights on, the camera running and to be able to provide you guys with new content like this very edit, for example, uh, I feel I need to let you guys know about how you can help support the channel and myself. I have a Patreon that if you pledge to, you're helping support the channel and in return you can get a vast amount of content that you wouldn't regularly get on YouTube, such as full unedited reactions to my regular content, a ton of other shows and movies that you probably don't even know that I've reacted to. A link to this can be found in the description below and it really does help the channel by keeping me and my very cute cats alive. Think of the cats. If you're interested, you can also check out our website, which is also linked below. Perhaps there's some shows and movies there that you didn't even know that I reacted to, but you always wanted to see. Please know, pledging is entirely your own choice, of course. You're welcome to stay here on YouTube and wait for the edits to come out. No worries, I'm not going anywhere. More edits are coming. Uh, I understand not everyone is in the position to support creators, but any help is welcome. Anyways, thank you for your continued support, whether it's through YouTube or on Patreon. You guys are the best. Now please, enjoy the rest of the video. Right, uh, well that was uh, Stargate SG-1 Season 10, Episode 10. Um... I enjoyed that one. Uh, I liked that everyone was kind of working together and doing riddles and doing like an escape room. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you thought and I'll see you in the next one.